So now we'll spend some time looking at epoxides. And epoxides uh, essentially are a, a cyclic ether with a three-membered ring. Uh, but it turns out due to the ring strain, they're much more reactive than any other ether and any other even cyclic ether. Uh, the string strain gives them some properties and some chemical activity that normal ethers don't have. So they get their own class then and we call them epoxides. Now there's a couple different ways to name them. One, we can name them as oxiranes. So, and when you're naming an oxirane, you're essentially naming the three-membered ring and the oxygen actually gets a number. Normally, most, or most organic nomenclature, you only number the carbon chain. Well, in naming an epoxide as an oxirane, the oxygen is always number one. And then these two carbons are gonna be two and three. Whichever one, you know, has a substituent first, uh, usually gets the two. Uh, if there's a tie, then the second substituent, or if there's a tie, overall with the number of substituents, then you go to alphabet and stuff. Well, in this case, this thing's symmetrical, so it really doesn't matter. So two and three, they're both equivalent. I could have numbered it the other way around as well. So uh, in this case, then, we've got methyl groups, two of them on carbon two and two of them on carbon three. So in this case, we've got to give the chain locators for all four methyl groups. So we've got two comma two comma three comma three dash, and then to say four methyls is tetramethyl. So, and then we just say simply oxirane is the parent chain. So that's naming epoxides as oxiranes. You can also name an epoxide as a substituent here. We'll see how this works. Let me just redraw this real quick. So, and in this case, you wanna find the longest continuous carbon chain. Uh, and in this case, I could find it one such way. There's many equivalent ways, it turns out in this case, but I'll just do it like that. So, and that longest chain is butane. And then we've got this methyl group and this methyl group that are not attached. And then we've got this guy, the epoxide, that's also gonna be named as a substituent. Uh, and in this case, so we've got the epoxy group. So, and then we've got these methyls down here as well. And epoxy comes first in the alphabet, so we'll name him as a substituent, a substituent first here. Uh, and so in this case, it gets two numbers, the two and the three that are all part of the epoxide. So we're gonna say two comma three epoxy. Uh, and in this case, we've got two comma three dimethyl. So, and then once again, that four carbon chain was the parent chain, the longest continuous carbon chain we could find. And so this parent chain is called butane. So either again, two, two, three, three tetramethyl oxirane or two, three epoxy, two, three dimethyl butane, both are acceptable. Uh, one thing to note in your class, your professor might only choose to uh, demonstrate one or the other or both. Uh, so obviously you're on the hook for what your professor deems necessary.